Hey guys, today I am at Tantalong Castle near North Berwick in East Lothian and you see in 1651 after the Battle of Dunbar Cromwell ordered the siege of this very structure you see it took them 12 days to break through and what survives here today is the castle ruins There's heaps of videos about Tantalon so I thought I'd just briefly start my video here because we are going about a mile along the coast to a little place called Seacliff where there's another castle that was destroyed by Cromwell <laughs> So guys, this is us, secluded off the main road, nestled in the wee forest, to get to a beach called Seacliff. Now, this behind me is what's known as the Bash Rock. And you see, the legend has it, is that the Saint, Saint Balred, lived on Bash Rock. And if you look here, where there's a little piece of land and the lighthouse on it is called St. Baldred's Boat. You see, apparently the Christian saint managed to move the rocks and steer it like a boat to keep it safe for the fishermen. But there's lots of cool stuff to check out here because this right behind me, guys, is what's known as St. Baldwin's Cave where he used to stay when he was on the mainland and not staying on the Bass Rock so let's have a little look so this is it guys St. Baldwin's Cave so I'm really fascinated in the stories in general of this as I mean, St. Balred is said to have lived here in the 1700s, sorry, 700s. And a lot of the things in this area are named after him. But about 100 years ago, it was actually dug up and excavated. And they found a number of very curious things, such as horse bones and pig bones and even human bones so the theory has it that this was not only St. Baldred's cave but that this here right here was once an altar it was a sacrificial place of worship for the Norse god Balder the son of Odin truth I can't say that I believe it's a place of Norse worship or I'm not sure even about the story of St. Balder to be fair but it's all fun I mean this does look like some kind of altar and the fact is is that the, the floor in here is completely paved with like flat stones I mean it's overgrown now but in general the cave is kind of a strange place so yeah so that's the first we stop St Baldred's cave let's go see what else we've got to find nestled away right at the edge of the cliffs is this old ruined castle here this is old aim castle now, the reason I brought you here is not because 
for any specific reason due to the castle itself but I want to talk today about Cromwell so after the Battle of Dunbar, uh, Dunbar as I already mentioned Cromwell was given the right and the orders to destroy every castle in East Lothian and Oldham was one of the first to be destroyed now there's not much left there is this underground chamber that you can come in today and enjoy and it's very cool to come and have a wee look but uh, there's not really that much left apart from that in this castle so yeah Alright guys, so yeah that was old Thames, you can see it's uh, pretty much in a ruin, there's not much standing of it left to be fair and uh, it's not that old of a castle in general but it's quite funny how you know it's literally a mile away from the very very famous Tantalon castle and this clearly wasn't quite as a fortress as Tantalon but we might cover that in another video so, now, we are off to a wee old ruin, a place that's called Sea Cliff House, and I think it is one of the most incredible old manses left in this side of the country. So, I'll uh, see you when I'm there. On the other side of the beach, you'll be Less to find this old mansion. This here is Sea Cliff House. Not a castle. Not a castle at all. It was a 1700s marvel. It was sadly burnt down in 1906 or early 1900s. And it's never been able to be restored since. As you can see, it's uh, going to cost quite a bit of money. <laughs> so yeah. So I'll show you what I can show you. We'll go through the weekend. Okay? And because the main building has been freshly boarded up, so I can't actually get into the main part of the mansion without, you know, breaking the law and that. But you can. Oh, yeah. oh yes. I've been able to sneak in. Oh wow, what a house this would have once been. Wow! Look at the scale of it till you get in. Oh, I'm so glad we got in. Pretty sure it was burnt down in 1906. Wow, look at this place. Let's have a real look around it. Oh, some size of a house. Wow! Really, really, really some size. I think five, five floors? It's not quite going to be a guided tour, guys, because I've no idea where I'm going. It's the first time I've entered this thing. It's not a castle, I can say it again. It's a, it's an old mansion house, so very rich person once built it. come all the way up the stairs wow see if we can get a view oh the stairway stops we won't be going any further so yes guys this is what's known as sea cliff house and you clearly can come in and visit it if you want You could go on for days here. It's absolutely humongous. Whoa. 
Oh, this is like a like an old well or something. I've never been in a building like this. Really haven't. See the scale of it all. Wow. The size of these windows, man, is absolutely immense. Nature's just taking her in a hundred years. She's completely covered. This is back pretty much to the start. Wow. Something there. So guys, that is us in uh, our wee day out adventure in Seafoot. Remember it's just one mile or so away from North Berwick. Less than an hour you'll be here from Edinburgh. And it's really, really, really special. I'm not going to lie to you. You can even come and have a wee look if you don't believe me yourself. This is what you missing y'all Woo! empty beach empty beach all right guys hope you enjoyed hit subscribe give me a wee like and uh cheerio the now <laughs>